Hey everyone, Joe Lance here. Today we're outside Mel's Diner in Waterloo, Ontario. Yes, here to do their Godfather Burger Challenge. So this is a big massive burger served with a large fries and a coleslaw. So you have one hour to complete it if you do get the meal for free. If not, it's $50. So, no one has ever done this challenge twice, so I'm gonna try to do it twice. So the burger itself has three pounds of meat, so to total we're gonna have six pounds of meat. Then you have a giant bun, which is like at least a pound, pound and a half. Then you have the fries and everything, guys. So we're talking a lot of food. This is probably gonna be like nine pounds. Um, but anyway, hopefully it's good. It's a very busy spot. They have location here and the one in Kitchener. Um, here alone, there has been something like 450, 440 attempts, which is absolutely crazy. Um, not that many winners. So anyway, let's hopefully uh, we can win at least one, maybe two. Hopefully we'll see what we can do. And uh, that's about it. So let's head in. Let's have some fun. Let's eat food and let's do it. Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank the sponsor today's video, being Vessi. Yes, Vessi. So, Vessis are my everyday shoe. I have many different models, many different colors. This is the weekend model. In fact, these are my gym shoes. Yes, where I have many for the outside, these are now inside. Like I said, totally universal. What I love so much about them, not only are they sustainably made, but they're 100% waterproof. So I can wear them in the snow, when I'm in the sun, it all works great. I've tested their waterproof abilities out in the field and in my home, and 100% the water just beads off the shoe, kind of like a duck, and that's because of their Diamond Tech technology. So you don't have to worry about your feet getting wet, and you don't have to worry about your shoes getting soaked. They're also super easy to keep clean, you can just kind of rinse them off. So if you want a pair of shoes which will look after you, and you don't have to worry about looking out for them, grab yourself a pair of Vessies to Today. And you can use that code J Hansen. Yes, use my code J Hansen. Get $25 off your pair of vests today. So click that link, use that code J Hansen, guys. Perfect time to grab yourself a pair of Vessi shoes for the winter, for the spring, for the summer, for the sun, for the rain. And that, let's get to the rest of the video. Hey everyone, so here are with the challenges. Looks really good. So again, the two massive giant burgers with three pounds of beef on each. Look at the size of this bun. This is like gonna be a bread challenge, that's for sure. They're absolutely giant. Then we have the two large basket of fries here. They're very crispy. And then we have the uh, coleslaw here as well, two sides of coleslaw. So pretty much that's about it. Um, they are gonna give us two hours. I'm hoping not to use two hours. But nonetheless, but we might as well get started. How we say the count of? Put that right there for now. Uh, oh, let's start with some veggies. So how we start the count? Of five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. We got some fiber here. Get some fiber today. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Mel's Diner in Waterloo, Ontario, taking on their Godfather Burger Challenge. So they have a location in Kitchener and one in Waterloo, which are very similar or very close by regions within Ontario, Canada, but nonetheless. So we have this great big burger challenge, um, totaling it is about five pounds, being the burger itself with the multiple pounds of meat, then the absolutely massive, massive, massive bun, not to mention all the vegetables on there, plus the side of fries and the coleslaw. You do have one hour to complete the challenge, and if you do, you do get the meal for free, otherwise you're paying the $50 price tag. So I will say this challenge I've heard was more around four pounds, but I guarantee the two of mine were definitely more around five pounds each. Well, the veggies are good. We're off to a good start. Which overall makes sense when you have the three pounds of meat plus that bread which is definitely a pound plus the fries etc etc so i decided to try to do this challenge twice to double the challenge um, which had never been done before and let's just say the staff were pretty uh, apprehensive that it could be done i mean i will say it was definitely definitely a lot of food and the main difficulty of this challenge besides of course just the sheer volume of it again the average individual cannot eat five pounds of food even if they had a you know a five hour time limit is the bread the density of that bread the crispiness the whatever it is you know basically it's a loaf of bread it's not even a bun it's a loaf of bread which definitely really adds um, to the complexity and the difficulty of the food challenge well, i'm waiting for my ketchup plate we'll just put some direct contact So Mel's itself is like a kind of retro, almost 50-ish style diner. 
Um, so it's kind of a really unique spot. Again, they did have a number of different specials throughout the week, um, but of course the, this burger challenge had been on my radar for a very, very long time. Um, the reason why I had not done it prior to this was I always thought it was like a pay to play, um, being you had to pay for the meal regardless of winning or losing, but when I found out that you uh, did get the meal for free if you completed it, I definitely wanted to make sure that I was able to try it out. You also uh, do get a t-shirt for winning, um, which has a picture of the Godfather on it, which is pretty cool. So that was definitely a prize that we're going to hopefully be able to obtain as well, in addition uh, to the free meal. So now if we actually talk about the food itself, um, the burgers were solid. I mean, the burger patties, it was at least, you know, it was real beef. It was not a frozen patty, um, which I always appreciate. And of course, the vegetables were fine, and that's really all I'd eaten besides the meat. All right, we got the ketchup plate action, and it's even red. It was meant to be. All right. Much better. As you saw, there had been almost 500 attempts at this location alone, and then only about 20 winners, um, which is really crazy, really speaks to the difficulty of this challenge. But then there was also a large number of attempts at the other restaurant as well. I think instead of finishing the wall, I don't know if there's a record. So I'm gonna finish the, the meat probably in this one, then we'll go for bread and side. Six one half dozen hour. Lots of veggies, lots of bread, lots of meat. I knew this challenge was going to be very difficult, but I definitely did not know how difficult this was going to be. And really, at a certain point, I was unsure if I was even going to be able to complete this really at all. I don't know if the song was like strategically placed or something, but I refuse. So with that everyone, I'm going to let you get to the video, ultimately we'll see what happens um, and maybe I'll chime in uh, to give you a little bit more information a little later on. So with that, let's tune in and ultimately let's see what happens. I definitely will be undoing the belt at some point. I need that extra horsepower. All right, we are probably like, what, seven and then just, just, under, eight. just under eight minutes in. Pretty much done the meat. Then just loads of bread, loads of fries, and coleslaw. We're in it for the ride. And I got a burp. I'll get it out. and bread. Lots of it. About 9 minutes 45 seconds in. Let's see how this goes. Save the bottom buns probably. Let's get rid of some french fries maybe. I'm not looking forward to the bread but all part of it. Probably gonna let some of this soak a little bit. This is gonna be a job workout from this point on. One basket of fries down. One to go, two breads, two pulse off. We got 12 and a half minutes in.
rough. It's getting rough. It's also toasted, so the edges are pretty, pretty, pretty hard. One quarter of the bun's gone, we're about 20 minutes in. Raw food, warm bread, definitely tough to eat. We're making our way, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. It's very large as you can tell. We're about 21 and a half minutes into buns and chill. Lots of buns. Lots of buns. Just over 20 minutes in, just a lot of bread, just takes a lot of time to eat a lot of liquids. But hopefully we get this down. We do have, well, typically an hour and 35 minutes left left. Let's say 35 minutes, so the coleslaw is gonna go down so easy after all this. <laughs> Be a nice change. This is very crispy. Yeah, this is uh, this is gonna need some work.
seconds. Just kicking my butt a little bit. We're almost to it. Not much left.
It's a big glob of mayonnaise. Two seconds. That was a hell of a challenge, a lot of food. That's about that, that's all you gotta say. So that we feels pretty cool, we get t-shirts. And uh first person to ever do that and probably the last. So and that everyone thanks much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Of course the next time to have it you happy eating and uh that's about it. If you like the video, hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, that's about it. So until next time, have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.